Hey, good morning, y'all. Check this out. We are all in different seasons of our lives, right? For me, this is a season of growth, a season of harvest, because I've been putting the work in for years, y'all, so I got to just keep on executing. You might not be in a season of harvest right now. You might be in a season of getting the land or tilling the land or planting seeds. The moral of the story is put that work in every single day. Be as productive as possible because it's only a matter of time before it's your harvest season. Let's get it. Came a long way, that's what the songs say. And I could do all things, I could do all things, yeah, I could do all things, yeah. yeah. So, Miss Kathy comes by, what would you say, Miss Kathy, maybe every two weeks? <laughs> Let me back and back and back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. She said, it depends on if we have an event or not. Because, uh, you know, in this COVID season, if I'm around a bunch of people, I need to have that even extra strong. Here we go. And, and I apologize, my wife was fussing to me. They're waiting on you. I was like, I don't speak to the tour. Then Ebony was calling me. I said, okay, but I'm locked in. I'm ready to go. I just left another meeting. It's been back to back. Classic Friday, but I'm ready to rock. <laughs> Very good. All right. Excellent. This picture is good. Well, I want to just shout out all you amazing educators, all of you amazing officers, all you amazing counselors, all you amazing school liaisons, all of y'all that show up every single day, all you, all my fellow social workers out here that show up every single day. I get it now. And when I, when I saw the humanity of these teachers that showed up every single day for me and I realized like, whoa, 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 you don't have to be here. It ain't like some governmental draft. At one point in my life, y'all gonna think this silly. At one point in my life, I thought the government was like, okay, you'll be a dentist, okay, you'll be an engineer, all right, you'll be an educator, good luck. When I realized, whoa, 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 you chose to be in this space? You chose to be taking this career field? Like, you chose to go this route? I was like, oh, maybe I'm not a mistake. Maybe there is something special about me. Maybe I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I'm like, you don't have to be here? They're like, no, Jeremy, we don't have to be here, but we chose to be here. If you show up, we show up. And the days you don't show up, we still gonna show up just in case you decide to show up because we see something inside you. I was like, whatever you want me to do, you capture my heart, whatever you want me to do, whatever adjustments I gotta make. I was just like, yo, I'm, I'm tired of trying to fight this thing and figure this thing out. You wanna know how you can connect with the students? You wanna know how you can connect with them and help them go to that next level? You will have to be crazy. All right, so I'll meet with, um, we'll get two more trucks. I'm gonna talk to Tracy and we'll work on getting two more trucks. Or by the end of this next month coming up, we'll work on having two more trucks. That's gonna be my biggest goal. Um, that way, half the time, we got six rolling. But worst case scenario, you hit me and say, man, we only got this number. You know what I'm saying? But then the other time, half, we can have all of them rolling. Yeah, any Sounds other concerns? Anything else I should, I should know about? Um, the numbers I had to send you last week. Oh um, yeah, 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 yeah. I get, but I get it though. I, you know and I saying? was so glad to know. And the that numbers you, this week could be better, huh? I, I'm, I just can't wait. Hey, come I can't on, wait, come man. on. I can't wait. Yeah. I, I don't want to count my chickens before they hatch. Right, right, right. It's looking awesome. That's it what is. I want to show Tracy. Um, and I feel like that's going to help her feel better about saying, "All right, I just get to that." You know, it's like when we were doing the fuel stuff the other day with that new card. You were like, "You spend an average of four grand a week on fuel." This and the other, and I'm like. That's pretty close. Mm -hmm. But now that all four trucks have been on the road consistently, mm -hmm. we've pushed that, you know, mm -hmm. so we're going to, have to we're tweaking that. Yeah. But no one, knock on wood, thank God, no one's had any repairs this week right. or anything. It's just been fuel consumption. Right. But the numbers are there to right. back that up. We are heading across town. I got a meeting with two of my business partners. Well, actually only one to be there. I got to meet with CJ, Alex, is out the country. Um, but we got to meet at one of our facilities that doing, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to put too much of the company out there yet. But um, basically I got to meet across town. So I'm enjoying some little French toast. Your boy whipped together the other day and um, eating on the go, man. Got a full day, let's get it.
beware of these ministers uh, that are telling you it's your season, it's your season. They're right, they're right, it is your season, but you gotta ask yourself, is this my season of what? It can't be everybody's season of harvest at the same time. For some of you, this is your season to get the land. For some of you, this is your season to till the land. For some of you, this is your season to plant the seeds and water the seeds. And for some of you, this is indeed the season of harvest. So I don't know what season you're in, but you're right, this is your season. But it can't be everybody's season of harvest at the same time. Wherever you are in life, whether you gotta get the land, till the land, plant the seeds, water it, just handle your business. And then one day, it will be a season of harvest. All right, y'all, let's get it.